please subscribe to the channel as only 11.6% of you are subscribed to the channel. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Platinum Bricks 95 and it's still Lego Spider-Man September. Firstly, I want to give a big shout out to all of the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the channel and subscribing and watching the content. It really does mean a lot to me. Also, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. But if you don't want to, I get it. If you're not subscribing for me, subscribe for the amazing t-shirt. Secondly, I do just want to apologize for not uploading yesterday. Basically, I was going to film, then something came up. So yeah, I did do a short yesterday to make up for it. But today, is that's why I did the videos a day late, basically. So yeah, video today instead. So then, guys, what is today's video? Well, we're back, actually, with a Lego Marvel review. Now, you know I love doing these. And today is no exception, because, of course, it's Spider-Man themed. And this is... Lego set number 76057, Spider-Man Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle. It's an amazing Lego set. Like, it's a huge Lego set. Now, this set actually has been out of production for four years now. And I actually only got it earlier on this year. There is a video on the channel. Go and check it out if you want to. But I actually got this uh, this year. And luckily for me, I got it for pretty much retail. So I got it for the same value as it was when it was new. So not too bad, I didn't end up overpaying. So I'm super happy about that. But yeah, I think it is the biggest Spider-Man set bar the new Daily Bugle. I think before the new Daily Bugle came out, this is the biggest Spider-Man set. And yeah, it's huge and it is a hundred pound set. So yeah, I'm very excited to review it. Also, one more side note, not too many, but just one more. Lighting, I'm, I apologize for the lighting. As I stated in my last video, the light's broken. So, uh, yeah, that's why the lighting's not as good. I am looking into ordering new lights, though, okay, guys? So, yeah, just bear with it for a little while. Also, just before we do jump into the review, I do just want to quickly say that uh, six of the seven minifigures featured in this set have already been featured on the channel. So I'm not going to go too crazy in depth with all the minifigures. So it shouldn't be an hour-long video like usual or 40-minute video reviewing this set should be a lot quicker and streamlined today. So yeah, I've babbled on for way too long as per usual. Let's get right into reviewing this Lego set. And of course, even though I just stated what I stated, we're gonna get into the minifigures first. Let's go! All right then guys, well here we are taking a look at the minifigures featured in this set. And again, I will just say, as I stated in the intro, uh, apologies for the lighting. You're just gonna have to bear with it for the moment until I get new lights. Anyway, first thing I want to say about these minifigures is five of these beauties are unique to this Lego set. Now, the two that aren't are Spider-Man and Scorpion. I think Scorpion appears in a junior set as well. And this is the first Spider-Man, as we've talked about many times on this channel before. It's the OG. However, the other five are completely unique. However, if you take this one off, we have featured one, two, three, four, five, six of these minifigures, five of these minifigures, sorry, and him as well on the uh, channel. So yeah, the problem is I've featured them all on the channel already, so I'm not going to go crazy in depth with them. However, we'll start with the classic Spider-Man. I don't really need to say much about this at this point, really. If you haven't seen this Spider-Man before, I don't think you've been collecting Lego Marvel for a long time. This is the original Spider-Man. He's very good. He's one of my favourites. He'll always be in my top 10 Marvel uh, Spider-Man minifigures. However, yeah, it's just Spider-Man. There's nothing too crazy to say about it. I don't need to review it in depth again. Now, the other minifigure that isn't unique, however, is amazing and did, of course, feature on my top 10 Lego uh, Spider-Man villains uh, minifigures 
is Scorpion. Now, Scorpion isn't unique to this set. He does appear in a junior set. That, uh, I don't know which one, but he definitely does. However, he is an amazing minifigure. And of course, I'm biased towards green. It's one of my favorite colors. So yeah, I mean, detailing not amazing and it looks good, but it's not crazy. However, the bit that obviously it's this bit. This bit is just accurate, it makes him look like Scorpion, it makes him look quite menacing, and it makes him look accurate to what I remember Scorpion looking like. Now, I know Scorpion's not really featured in the MCU, however, the Spider-Man cartoon I watched when I was a kid, this is what uh, Scorpion looked like. So yeah, very accurate, and just a cool minifigure in general. So guys, the next minifigure that I wanted to talk about, and obviously another one that has featured on the channel, is uh, Spider-Girl. And I've got to be honest, it's just an amazing minifigure. I mean, even if you take her hair off, it's still an amazing minifigure. And yeah, the hair just makes it awesome, I do think. However, I just think it's really cool. It's not... You don't get a lot of Spider-Man minifigures that are mainly white and red. They're normally mainly blue and red with white or gold or black or a different colour mixed in. However, this is predominantly red and white. And i just got to say, I do love it. I absolutely love the sort of torso printing. I love this spider design. I love the fact that, like with most female minifigures, you can sort of see her waist is curved there. And go on to the back, just amazing detailing. You don't... You don't always get good detailing on the back, but that is very good detailing. Now, so far, we've not seen any leg printing and we are on the third minifigure. However, I think things will look up as we go through them all. Uh, but yeah, on a whole, this is just a very nice minifigure. Like I said, I'm not going crazy reviewing all the minifigures because half of them have featured on the channel already. And this is one that was in a, a video that I did earlier in Spider-Man September. All right then, guys. So here we have the Scarlet Spider. Now ask me what I know about the Scarlet Spider. Absolutely nothing. I haven't got a clue. Like genuinely, I don't know anything about him. I don't know who, like what his human name is. I have no idea. However, when we look at the minifigure, you just gotta just gotta appreciate the detail. Now, obviously, his headpiece is exactly the same as the Scar uh, Spider Girls. However, we can look past that. I told you it works very well as a normal headpiece. Now, I will just take off his hood. I'm assuming he has a hood for a reason. This is like it almost looks like a B Tech version of uh, Spider Man. Really, uh, it looks like Spider Man in his early days. Uh, but yeah, a cool minifigure. I do love the detailing on the front and the back but the bit that shines for me is the fact that they've actually included arm printing which is not something that we've seen so far in this uh lego set so yeah in general an absolutely amazing minifigure now i'm not sure if this was on my top 10 video but i can't see why it wouldn't have been so if it wasn't i'm sorry because it should have been for sure because yeah an amazing minifigure and again like i said they always use the blue and the red but here they sort of reversed it and you use more red than blue they normally are predominantly blue. And I've got to be honest, it's just a lovely minifigure. So yeah, I'm just very happy to have this minifigure. And again, this is unique to this set, just like Spider-Girl was. All right then, guys, on to the other villains. Now, straight away, we'll take off his gun. If you want to see what it is, that's what it is. It's nothing too impressive. This is Craven the Hunter, a character I don't really know too much about in terms of the comics, but I remember him from The Ultimate Spider-Man. I do actually remember him. But yeah, like I said, this has already featured, obviously, in my top 10 list. It would be hard to leave off Craven the Hunter when his minifigure is as detailed as it is. Now, obviously, you did just see me take off his collar piece, which is very nice, but we don't want it on there when we're taking a look. Look at the detailing on this minifigure. I absolutely, this is like, my favourite leg printing, maybe, I've seen so far. It's just little paw prints, and it just looks brilliant. And you can see here he's got eyes on his jacket, which look amazing. It's just accurate. I love the use of this sash here. Very nice, and it continues on the back. All right, no back leg printing. And again, a bit lacklustre on the back. But in general, just look at the minifigure. Look at the detailing. And again, I, can't, I keep apologising for the light, but I'm going to have to. Just look at the detailing on this minifigure. I don't like minifigures, yeah, that come with just their arm pieces sort of exposed so their arms are just skin colour. That's not my cup of tea. However, here, it absolutely works. So, yeah, 
I absolutely love Craven the Hunter. But if you want to see more on him, go check out my top 10 Lego Spider-Man supervillain minifigures. All right, guys. All right, then, guys. On to the final minifigure that you have seen on the channel already. This is Green Goblin. And of course, I'm pretty sure he ranked number one on my Lego Marvel supervillains or Spider-Man supervillain. The tongue twister video, basically. And there's a reason he ranked number one. I mean, just take a look at this minifigure again i go into so much more detail on the uh channel on on the video about the uh super villains but just take a look at the detailing on the arms look at the headpiece look at that look i like i stated in that video you could get a bunch of these and make an army of evil gremlins or something it's just amazing and again he does have a dual molded head but i much prefer the more sinister terrifying look that he has on the front Arm printing is next level. All right, torso printing and back printing is nothing crazy, but it just works. It works so well. And as you can see, it tapers down to his legs. You can see the printing on there. But what I love about these is they're dual molded. You can see half of them are pink, half of them are green. And we just need more detailing like that. So yeah, in general, there's a reason this came number one in my super villains. It's absolutely brilliant. Also, I thought I'd just give you a quick look at his glider. It's nothing too crazy. It's probably not even the best glider I've got. However, it's just nice and it works well and it complements the minifigure well. However, I am missing a piece under here. Not uh, not like missing it, but I've taken it off because he's currently on display. So when he's on off display, we normally put a flat uh, stud up uh, two by two plate there. So it's smooth on the bottom. So yeah, but in general, just a nice flyer, but nothing too crazy. All right then, guys. Well, on to the final minifigure and the only one that has not been featured on this channel so far. And that is, of course, Aunt May. Now, nothing too crazy about this minifigure, but I will say I absolutely love her hairpiece. I love the bun look. It just, it does look like Aunt May and I just think it's awesome. So yeah, I think they've really nailed this minifigure and you can sort of see the detailing on her face as well. And she does have a dual molded head, which I didn't actually think she would. So yeah, props to Lego and Marvel for doing that. Now, nothing too crazy when it comes to this minifigure. It's not an exciting minifigure by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just nice and accurate. And I don't think that can be understated. So yeah. I just really do like uh, Lego, this version of Lego Aunt May, I've got to be honest. And again, it is one of five unique minifigures to this set. The ones that aren't unique are Scorpion and Spider-Man. But the only way to get the other five minifigures is by buying this Lego set. All right then, guys. Well, that was a look at the minifigures, as you can see here and here. Um, I told you it wouldn't be as long because they've all been featured on the channel as well. I don't need to go crazy in depth giving my thoughts on stuff like this. Also, it's not a Lego MCU set, so I'm not as fussed if they're not that accurate. I know it's based on a cartoon, but I haven't seen that cartoon in years, and it's been discontinued, so I'm not really too fussed if they don't look as accurate to the cartoon but from what i remember they actually do so credit where credit's due but like i said as they've been featured on the channel i didn't need to go too crazy but that's enough on the minifigures let's get right into the build and i think actually we'll start with the smaller builds and then get onto the bridge let's go i thought i'd just quickly show you guys you do get a little garbage can and two of these little fire plume things for playing but they don't really add to the build but yeah they are there essentially so then guys here are the two smaller builds now we do get like a little police quad bike which i do actually like and i can actually appreciate it is a cool little build and i do actually like it and it goes along very nicely and i guess it adds to the build in some way however there's no police officer so it doesn't seem very necessary however it's not terrible but you can see it does bend and crack i think it's meant more as a sort of piece that can be thrown and destroyed as opposed to actually a police vehicle so yeah it's mainly just an extra little build for it and i've got to be honest it's not bad like i said it does look pretty cool but it's not crazy and it's nothing too special however the next piece i want to talk about the next build is this absolutely gorgeous new york taxi now if you do pop the top off you can see you can definitely get one minifigure in there which would be pretty cool however my only problem with this is that it's four wide 
it's not six wide. I like all my vehicles to be six wide. They have to be six wide. There's no point doing a four wide build. However, I know it's not based on what I like. So in general, I have to give it credit. Now I will disclaim and say sticker, sticker, sticker and sticker, which is very, very disappointing. However, on a whole, you've got to be honest, that's a New York taxi. You look at that and say, that's a taxi. You even take that off and cover that up. It looks like a taxi. It's just nice. It's a bit angular. You could say that. However, I think it works really well and it is good for the build in general. So yeah, I'm not complaining about this taxi. I do actually really like it and it does add to the overall value of the set. So guys, I'm kind of hoping I'm in shot right now, but I'm doing something that I've never actually done before. I'm sort of taking a closer look from the side because this just will not fit in shot. If I put the camera, which is normally here, by the way, the camera normally sits here and I record there. However, the, as you can see, it's just too big. It won't fit in. And I hope I'm in shot. I'm doing the best I can be, can to be anyway. But enough of that. Let's just take a look at this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous build. I mean, come on, look at the design and detail along here. Just gorgeous. You can see it's just a multitude of one by two bricks and two by, uh, one by four bricks, but all textured, all lovely. I love these cables as well. It just looks like a bridge. If you bought a load of these, you could connect them up and make one big bridge. And I think that would be such a cool thing to do. And it would be something I'd definitely be interested in doing. However, there's so many hidden little secrets on this set. And I will take you in for a closer look so you can see. But in until then, basically what I thought I'd do first is actually show you the play features because I can take you in for a closer look when you're back up there. And right now it's better for looking at the play features. So yeah, anyway. Couple of little things. You've got a little egg uh, sort of nest up here. Nice little thingy. But this, I'm assuming, pushes down. Yeah. So this is a little net that is stored actually underneath here. And you just sort of push it in this little hole here. And you press this, boom, and the net deploys. So yeah, that's one of the play features straight away. I've got to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Might be for push. Ah, yes. Right. Okay. So the good thing about here is you can see there's a little sort of uh, lever here and if you swing it bang see it breaks out the wall and that does work on both sides and again when we go in for a closer look like i said you will be able to see this sort of much more accurately if you like because uh it's sort of you won't be able to see the lever and the mechanism from the current shot you're viewing from I'm just going to put this back together one second. Okay, guys, it's back together. Now, there's, like I said, there's detailing everywhere. Now, this does break out, actually, which is pretty cool. You can sort of see here, it's sort of hidden underneath, but it does sort of pull out like that. So almost like a taxi could be drove. You can see here a sticker. Again, when we go for a closer look, you'll see. But this is a cool play feature, and it's almost like the taxi's being supported by the web, like the Spider-Men have managed to save the taxi. And I do really like that, and it's a little attention to detail that makes this set so great, in my opinion, anyway. Now, if I turn it around, I hope you're still in shot, and I hope you're getting focus here. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I think this is more of a super launcher sort of thing, so you're meant to be able to launch stuff. I don't know. Let's see, shall we? Boom, it doesn't work that well really with this anyway, but I'm assuming it's meant more for minifigures. Now, yeah, so there's a little thing here. It doesn't do anything too crazy, but it's pretty cool. Now these do break open and sort of come down like this. Bit flimsy. The only part of this build that I would say is a bit flimsy is these two bits, because when you move it, it and try to push it, it will just lift off. It's a shame, but most Marvel builds do have a little bit of the flimsy side on them. And yeah, this one does have that. As you can see, it just doesn't want to connect, doesn't want to sit nicely. So yeah, that's some of the play features. Now, if we take a look down here, you can see underneath here, if we pull this down, is that, no, that's just a like little den. Again, closer look, you'll see. It's not a play feature, it's just a little den. And then under here, we actually do have sort of, I think it's more of like Craven's little hideout, if you like. Now I will spin it around and just check the other side so you can see there's a tiny little lever here. Now you're probably wondering what that does, but I can see here on top, it does actually sort of, if you pull it, bang, it drops down and you drop into Craven's oh, the spider trap. So yeah, a cool play feature. But yeah, there's loads of stuff on here. Like you've got a little stand for people to stand on. 
You've got little details everywhere. You've got little hideouts there, Craven's hideout, loads of stickers. So yeah, on a whole, there's so much to do on this Lego set. There's loads of play features and there's loads of little hidden details. But enough of that, I'm going to take you in for a closer look. All right, guys. All right, then, guys. Well, here we are, because you may not have been able to see a lot of these details, but I did want to show you. Now, most of the printed stuff you're seeing is not printed. It is, unfortunately, I'm going to be honest, stickers. This is a very heavy sticker based set. But if that is one of my complaints, it's not a big one. And a play feature I didn't actually show you, like I see, is look, that will push the character that's holding on there off. And that is pretty cool. But you can see the little bird's nest up here, little details here and here. Here are the little levers that I was on about. If you pull that behind there, it will push the wall out. And that is applicable on both sides. As you can see, there's a lever on either side. Now, again, I did just want to show you because we're here now, a bit closer in detail. This pulls out like that. And you can actually see stickers here, which is designed for where this sort of like holds on there. And like I said, it's like it's being held up by a spider's web. So you've got to love that attention to detail. Now, this is what I was telling, talking about when I showed you that other thing, other lever. You pull it out and you drop down there. And in there is actually a camera set up on the spider web, which you can see if you pull this down here. And let's see if we can get in. We can't, but you, you'll have to, you can sort of see it from there. And you take my word for it. Trust me, it is true. That is what is down there. Now, again, unfortunately, you can see there's a sticker. There's lots of stickers on this set. I won't lie, there's a sticker there. Is there a sticker in there? There is on the other side. You can see there's loads of stickers everywhere. Now, in here is where I wanted to show you. This is Craven's little den, but you can't actually really see in there. There is some cool stuff in there, but you can't really see it. You sort of can from here, but again, not amazing, which is a shame, unfortunately, but Trust me, it is pretty cool in there. You're just going to have to take my word for it as I can't really actually see in there. So just a couple more. You can sort of see, this is what I wanted to talk about. Look at the level of detail. Look at the level of detail in these bricks. All textures, all textures, sorry. All looking very good. It, it's just nice. And the colour scheme, they've absolutely nailed the colour scheme in my opinion. I just think it looks amazing as you can see it's been on display for a while it's quite dusty but i will put this back up or attempt to anyway like that there we go so that's back up but yeah i did just want to say like i said i did just want to take you in for a bit of a closer look and just in case you haven't seen them this is what they look like here and there's this little area down here as well and yeah just in general it's a very, very good looking Lego set. All right then, guys. Well, there you have it. That was my closer look and review of this Lego set. Now, the nice thing today is you've seen a lot of these minifigures on the channel before, so I didn't need to go crazy in depth on them, which was very nice. And when it comes to the build, I showed you the play features, but it's mainly the look of the build that I just want to talk about. It's just beautiful. And so I don't need to go crazy over the top saying loads of different things or opinions on this set. It is just good. But anyway, I've babbled on, as per usual, for long enough. So let's get right into uh, the pros and cons and the rating out of 10. Let's go! All right then, guys. Well, there you have it. That was my review and closer look at this Lego set. Lego set number 76057, Spider-Man Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle. It's a mouthful, let's be honest. But anyway, let's get right into the pros and cons. And today I'm actually going to start with the cons because there's not many of them, believe it or not. OK, so there's only two cons. Number one, stickers. It's something that I always moan about on Lego sets. However, this one really does have a lot of stickers. Like there isn't any printed pieces. It is all stickers, which is a real shame. But again, that's to be expected. And I guess because it's again, it's such an old Lego set. Maybe they thought that was the way to do things and they weren't actually printing tiles at that point. But in my opinion, I just think, yeah, there's way too many stickers. And number two, it is a big one, unfortunately. Um, I was lucky and I got this on auction for the price that it retailed for, which is 100 Great British Pounds. I don't know what that is in America. $115, $120. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's the same as it was when it came out brand new. I got lucky. Some of you may not. 
if you do buy this set, I can imagine it's setting you back 150 quid maybe. Like look at, the, the best example I can always think of is you've got to look at um, the Lego uh, Hydra Fortress from the Age of Ultron wave that came with Quicksilver. When that came out, I think it was a 60 pound Lego set. It's now worth 120. It's doubled in price just because of that little Quicksilver and Baron Von Strucker. And I haven't got that set and it eats me up inside. So yeah, the, the price of this set now is gonna be a real letdown. But anyway, enough of the negative, onto the positive, and I could literally talk for hours about the positives of this set, but I'm gonna keep it quite concise. Number one, minifigures. Let's be honest, five unique ones, even the one, even the Scorpion, he's only in one more set, but Scorpion, still an amazing minifigure, just not unique. Five of them are, and the, uh, the other one, the Spider-Man, it's just classic Spider-Man, how can you moan about that? So yeah, minifigures, number one. Number two, clay features. There's, they're endless, there's loads of them. There's loads of stuff to do on this Lego set. Like you saw, there's loads of ways to enjoy yourself. And, the, and also, this is the other thing about it, it will make a great display piece, which leads me on to number three, the way it looks. Like I said, all of these textured bricks make it so good. And the fact that they've mixed dark gray, light gray and black, and just, sort of a tint of maroon or ma mauve or whatever color you guys call this. I call it all dark red. It is maroon, let's have it right, yeah. Um, it's just, it works so well. And I really, really can't stress enough how much I love this set. And it's not a set that's ever gonna be broken down. It will sit on my shelf forever, probably. And I may even buy a second one so that I can clip them together and make one big bridge. All you actually would have to do is build more cables along here to meet the other bit. And literally there's a Technic brick here so you can actually add more to the bridge. So yeah, in general, it's just an amazing Lego set. All right then guys, well that was the pros and cons. Like I said, there's really not too much negative about this Lego set. All right, maybe I left out a couple of little tacked on builds. Not the taxi, but the little fire bits and the little quad bike, but who cares? Who cares at this point? When the rest of the Lego set is that good, that is a very small price to pay. But anyway, onto the rating out of 10, and it is pretty easy from me. You know I only give 10 out of 10 to literally God tier sets. So this Lego set is coming in at a very, very strong nine out of 10 for sure. Now I would give it a 9.5, but I don't do 0.5. So I only keep it to 10, but yeah, nine out of 10. The real, real kicker for me that made it not 10 out of 10 is how much you will have to pay for it now. And I just feel like there's a couple of tiny minute things I would change. However, with all that in mind, and like I keep saying, 10 out of 10 is reserved for God tier set. So I've got to be honest, but, and this unfortunately just quite doesn't make it, but all in all, an amazing Lego set. So then guys, there you have it. That was my review and closer look at this Lego set. Get down in the comments and let me know if you've got this Lego set, what you actually think of this Lego set, and whether or not you'd be interested in picking up this Lego set now for the price it currently is. Also, if you could like, comment and subscribe, it would be really appreciated. Again, I know I shout them out at the start of the video, but I'm shouting it out to the people at the end of the video as well. A big shout out to all the new subscribers and just subscribers in general. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the content. It really does mean a lot to me. And I think currently I'm like nine subscribers away from 400 subs. So if you guys could drop a sub, it really would mean the world to me. Also, if you could check out my Instagram, it will be linked at the top of the description down below. Just photos of my Lego Marvel collection and Lego collection, really. And yeah, it's and stuff I'm up to in my life. It's not really that interesting. However, if you want to drop it a follow, it would be greatly appreciated. All right then, guys. Well, there you have it. That's the end of the video. All that's left to say is thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel and supporting the content. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.